Shalom, shalom. Shabbat shalom sa lahat. But on the side of Pharaoh, why? Ang sagot ay nadudoon na rin sa ugali ni Fero. Hashim merely vindicated the character of Fero. Meaning to say, hindi na magsisisi si Fero. of his evil action. He is the epithet of an arch enemy of God. And repentance is not part of his character. So, meaning to say, wala na sa kanyang wala na sa kanyang ano, wala na sa kanyang pagkatao na mag-renounce ng kanyang mali. And that is the hardest point. the hardest point <clears throat> yan ang pinakamahirap so ang Panginoong Hashem ay vindicate lamang yung karakter ni Pharaoh And it shows kahit doon sa mga succeeding na mga event na wala na sa kanya ang repentance. In fact, after uh, no, after uh, the final place, which is the final judgment of Hashem to him, walang remorse, di ba? No sign of remorse on the part of Pharaoh. He still pursued the Israelites. And hoping na he will win the battle against Hashem. Actually, it not, it's not only a battle of the Israelites. It's a battle of Hashem defending his people his chosen people so ang Panginoong Hashem by hardening his eyes was merely vindicating what is the real character of Pharaoh okay so <clears throat> those are the last three plagues ng dinanas ni Pharaoh. Okay. And then, uh, the final blow, mayroon ngang final blow sa kanila, yung nilunod yung mga Egyptian. Kasi, <laughs> itong haring ito, imbis na hindi na madamay yung mga tauhan niya, ay inutusan pang habulin. Okay. So mayroong mayroon ng ano, mayroon ng mayroon pa ring ano, mayroon pa ring uh, flashback or mayroon pa ring uh, tao ito. Pahabol. So ay gusto talagang mamatay, hindi ilunod na lang kayo diyan sa tubig. 
nagbabaka sa kali pa kayo na imbis na mag uh, mag uh, mag magsisi, magrepent, magremorse to what happened ay lalo pa ring naging uh, matapang at naging uh, conceited sa kanilang sariling kakayanan. So, let's uh, take up doon sa succeeding portion na uh, ang pag-establish ng kalendar, no? Actually, yung this is the Passover, no? Time of Passover. Yung last uh, uh, plague na uh, pagpatay sa mga panganay, it was also the event na in-institute yung Passover. At yung Passover nga ito ay dapat i-celebrate ng, ng mga Israelita throughout their generations. And they will retell the story of that event every time na mag-celebrate sila, every year. Mag-celebrate sila ng Passover. So, <clears throat> after that, I... Uh, ng plagues, no? in-establish mo na yung calendar. This is the beginning of month. This is the beginning of month. Meaning to say, the celebration of the Passover is the beginning of the year. So meaning to say, dito irerecon yung pag-celebrate ng Passover or celebration ng kanilang paglaya, their redemption. Last time we have studied the four expression of redemption, okay, in our previous parsha, and. <clears throat> Dito rin in-establish yung, yung uh, offering nito. Actually, even though this is a feast, this is a commandment. No? These are commandments no? that they have to observe the Jewish calendar, that they have to observe the Passover every year after that they, been, they have been redeemed from Egypt. And that they may... Uh, Have a feast seven days. Kakain sila ng matsa. Tinapay na walang libadura ng pitong araw. At iwasan nila na magkaroon ng matsa sa kanilang bahay. And they have to eat bitter herbs during that observation. Okay? And third commandment ay to consecrate the firstborn. Okay? During that time, they have been commanded, they have been told to consecrate the firstborn. Why? Because all the firstborn belongs to Hashem. Yes. And... <clears throat> This concentration, no? consecration of the firstborn is to be observed no? in relevance or in connection with their exodus. Okay. Kasi sa panahon yun, yung mga firstborn ng mga Egyptians were killed. And now, The first one of Israel, of all Israelites, are very important to Hashem. As Jacob considered also being the firstborn of Hashem. Sa ngayon sa chapter 4. 
And also, another commandment dito na makikita natin is sa mga Israelites, they will have to wear tefillin. Okay. Magsusu sila ng tefillino. Okay. Ang sabi? It will be a sign between you in your in between your uh, in your frontlets. Okay. Sa chapter 13 verse uh, 16 And it shall be for a token upon your hand and upon the frontlets between your eyes for by strength of hand Hashem brought us forth out of Egypt so th th this was the basis for the Jews for the Israelites to wear tefillin so to recapitulate, recapitulate ang ating pasya sa ngayon describes the last three plagues given to the Egyptian and also it lists uh, for mitzvot that uh, the Jews may observe one is to establish a calendar to observe the Jewish calendar and to observe a yearly celebration of the Passover and the consecration of the firstborn and then the wearing of Tefillin. So that's for now sa ating uh, Parsha. Shalom, shalom. Baruch Hashem.